Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial. This demonstration video is aimed at people who are new to the site and all of you who wanted to upload your work to Video Bolt, but you thought that the process was too complicated. I encourage you to stick around till the end of the demonstration and watch me go through a project and make it compatible with Video Bolt system. So let's begin. What you can see now is a well organized project. Everything is labeled from compositions to folders and even if you just started using After Effects, you will probably figure out how to edit the project without too much trouble. There is a render comps folder where you'll see a final composition. That's this. Edit folder where you can change your logo and your tagline. And finally, miscellaneous folder where you'll find the compositions of which the final animation is made of. However, Video Bolt's online editor and the rendering system requires that you name and organize your folders in a specific manner. And that is where the Video Bolt's author script comes in real handy. It makes setting up your project pretty straightforward and it is just a matter of selecting the required compositions and clicking on the set button. First, we need to select our render comp, so let's go and do just that. We'll select the 1080p one. Next to render comp field, we'll click on the set button. That's done. Now we need to select the composition with placeholders and in this example project, the composition that contains the placeholders is named animation. It's down here. So if we double click on this composition and open it, we can see that they are tagline and logo compositions. So we will select first the animation, click set. And you'll notice that there are three buttons this time. Add image, use this button to select your logo compositions or uh, compositions containing images add text, this one is for tagline, and remove button is there if you make a mistake and you can remove the layer and select the appropriate one. So we'll select the tagline, click on the add text, select a logo and click add image. That is done. Poster frame time is a single frame in your animation which we will later use as a preview image for your project. You can scrub through the animation to find an interesting frame. And when you found one, click on the set button. Now I, I will select the frame right about a three second mark. That looks good. So click on the set button. Project setting is a layer that contains all the look and feel controls. That means sliders, colors, controls, etc. As you can see, only one layer can be selected. So make sure to connect all the properties you want to change to this layer. First layer is where I've connected all the project settings. And we can check that if we go, if you click on the layer and click on the effect controls panel, and you'll see that there are some things you can edit. So select the color layer and click on set. As you can see, all the effects that can be adjusted were added to this list. And that's it. All we need to do is click on the convert to video bolt standard button. Congratulations, your project is ready for video bolt.net. And to double check things, I will click on the verify button. We received the same message two times. And that means that we can now upload our project to video bolt. If you look in the projects panel on the left, you will notice that the folder structure and naming of the compositions are different from what we had when we started. So I, I hope that you'll find the customization of the project not too difficult. And we can't wait to see your submissions. Thank you again for watching and bye.